this is Jill coming to today to do a plan with me and my classic super mom dashboard layout happy planner this is going to be for the week of May the 6th through the 12th and I want to thank you for joining me uh, for this plan with me uh, if you've watched any of my videos in the past I thank you for returning and I hope you'll like uh, what we have planned for today um, so as you can see this is the super mom or dashboard layout and I've been taking part in a challenge um, that is on the Facebook group for the dashboard layout and every week they give you either a theme or a color uh, to decorate your planner with so the theme for this week is tea party and the color is pink now you can do either one or you can do both um, I don't really have a whole lot of things that would be used for tea party so I think I'm gonna go with the pink and use that color as my um, decorating plan uh, I'm gonna start out with some washi I have this pink with white polka dot washi that's from the Paper Studio Bright Sweets uh, tube and then I have this one that's got the pink scallops that is from one of the Create 365 uh, washi tubes so we're gonna start with the pink one with the white polka dots and I'm gonna put this at the top of my page and it should be pretty close to the width of this top part. Now I don't have, normally I would white out um, the month, but I do not have any white out. So we are gonna leave it and hope that this washi covers it. Now this I can't go all the way to the end because of the um, holes for the rings so we're just going to go right there to that hole and then I'm going to cut off this excess on this side you can see my layout from last week was garden so that's why we had a bunch of flowers last week so we have that on the top and then I am going to put some down here at the bottom and then we'll just cut off um, the part that hangs over and now with this one it doesn't get in the way to go all the way to the end but because we didn't go all the way to the end with the one up on top I'm just gonna do the same down here and just go to where the hole for the disc starts and we cut off that and then I'm going to this sure doesn't look very straight does it maybe I need to put on some reading glasses so I can see what I'm doing looks a little better so then we'll cut off this part that's hanging down like that and normally you would think we're gonna throw that away but guess what we're gonna put it on the bottom of this side so we're gonna come to right about there and then this should go all the way to the end of this side just a little bit of overhang so cut that part off And 
ahead and we'll cut this part off. So there we go. We have the washi on the bottom of our page. And then I'm going to use this one up here at the top. And then we'll go all the way to the end on that one. So there we have our pink washi on the top and the bottom. Um, I'm going to put this side to the away for a few minutes. Um, now let's concentrate on the boxes here. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that this left side of the page I use kind of as a tracker. So in this box I usually track um, my subscribers for YouTube and my followers on Instagram. Uh, this box I usually do just cover and decorate. And this box I might use as a to-do list or um, just another list in general. And then down here I use this to track my filming and uploading and posting. So um, let me see. I found this journal card in my stash and I was thinking of either putting it on this side and covering up what I can. I'm going to have to put on some glasses so I can see where I'm where I'm going with this. It's not wide enough to cover up everything so it is going to show um, a line down here but maybe I could either use some washi or do something different. Now if I use it on this side it does cover up the majority of what it needs to cover. So, I just need to decide. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side. Whoops. Sorry if my head got in there. Um, so let me grab my paper cutter. And I've already measured and put some marks of where we need to trim it. right about there and let's see how this it's not perfect um, do have a little bit of a gap but I think it'll work fine so let me grab some Tape. Use a tape runner, and I get these Scotch double adhesive rollers from the grocery store of all places. Our local grocery store is HEB, and they have these in the office supply uh, section, and they're like a dollar and eighty-eight cents for one. So when I see them. I usually buy three or four of them and just have them on hand because they they work very well and they're rather on the affordable size side. So let's put that down right there. So we have that down and then we'll need to decide what to do with this box here. Now I'm going to use, I think there's some pink stickers in the Simply Lovely
I was thinking about using like one of these because it's very similar to this one here. And if I use this to kind of cover this up here, but maybe I don't need to go all the way across. Maybe I can just go to right there. Sorry for my arm being in the way. And then we'll rip that off right there. And then we'll put some right here to cover this up. And then we'll cut it right there. And I don't think this is going to be long enough to cover that there. So let's cover this up. Like right there. And that's not enough to cover that side. So we'll get rid of that one. And maybe we'll grab this other one. This is longer. I hate to use the long piece, but seems to be the only thing to do. So I'll get that one right there and then I'm going to use it to cover up the what's for dinner over here. And I can use a different um, header over here. So, we'll cover this up, and you can hear my son yelling in the background. Cover ruined your video. And so we have that down. And then I need to find some sticker to cover this up here. Um, doesn't really have to be This one that says, I like things to happen, and if they don't happen, I like them to happen. From Winston Churchill. Not exactly sure what that means, but. And I'm going to start it right here at the top because I think it's longer than what this box needs to be. I'm going to put it right here towards the the hole for the actually that fit very nicely. Okay, that was out of the Empowering Woman uh, sticker book. So, let's look in the Rainbow sticker book. 
and we'll go to the pink section. And this one says to do, but maybe I should use this other one. This one says to do, and it's got a pink asterisk and the to-do is in a gold foil. So then here we're going to put this one that says to buy and we'll just make a little buy list there and then this one says must do today and we'll put that right there that says note to self. We'll put this one right here. says priority and we'll put that one right there that one kind of goes off the page so I'm just gonna take my slice tool and kind of slice it like that so there we have that and then I need some boxes. This is the Chrissy Ann sticker book. And I was going to look to see if there was any boxes in here that I could use. I also have um, this is more of a seasonal sticker book so I don't think there's going to be anything there This is the American Crafts Chanel sticker book. And we might 
find something in here to use. But these are all pretty, pretty big stickers. We can put this one here. And use one for YouTube. And then this one for Instagram. that and Guess that will do it for now on that one. We'll go over to this side now. Now for this side, let me see if I can trim this just a little bit better. Said I'm going to use this washi here. Again, this came out of the Create 365 uh, washi tube that had. Uh, it's got some hearts, some donuts, like some confetti, gold, pineapple, and then a striped, colorful stripes. And then it had this pink um, scallop. So what I'm going to do is use this kind of at the top of the day. Like that. And then I guess I could have just run it all the way across, but sometimes it is hard to get washi to cooperate when you run it on such a wide or a long space. So doing it this way, it's just a little bit more controllable. So there we go, we have our washi down. Take a sip of some coffee. Okay, so to start off Monday, we're gonna need a coffee cup. And I don't think there's one in the Empowering Woman.
And I don't think there's one in the Simply Lovely. So let's look for Look in the Trendsetter regular sticker book. I know there's lots of pink stickers in there. And hopefully there are some pink coffee cups, which there are. So, do we want a light pink or a dark pink? Let's go with the light pink. So we'll put a coffee cup on Monday. And... Then we need trash stickers, and these are from Planner Problem, and these are printable. You can get them from her website and print them out on your printer, and then cut them using your cutter machine, whether it's a Silhouette or a Cricut. So there we have. those. Um, and I think I need to find something that says like for dinner or in the household. Up there that says meal plan, and then we can write out our menu. And on Thursday. We have two bills that are due. So we'll put one there. And one there. And then on Friday we have one due. one there. And then on Saturday, Saturday is church. circle with the gold cross in it. If 
we can put it down straight. And then we'll write. So we have church. For the bills, this one is the T-Mobile, this one is San Patricio Electric, and this one is Rincon Water. Okay, so we have that, and that church sticker came, or the circle sticker came out of the Agenda 52 uh, Faith Foiled sticker book, the small one. Um, so on Sunday... Sunday, we're going to do some grocery shopping. Now, these aren't pink, but... And we'll do some laundry. That and we'll write this and I don't remember. Well, Sunday is Mother's Day, of all things. So, let me see. If there's anything in the Dates and Holidays sticker book. This gold foil and it says Mother's Day right there. And then maybe we can put a flower there. Like that. And we'll cut off that excess right there. Okay.
then I need something on Monday and Tuesday. This one that says today, and we'll put it right there so it's on both days. But if we put this one like right there, well, that didn't work out right. I thought I was putting it down straight because I was matching up the straight edge but that was wrong so we need to match up this maybe that's better but it's not quite but oh well we're gonna leave it like that so we have that let me look. That one that says make it happen. This one that says get to it. This one that says do all the things. I'll put that like right there. And then 
this one that says special day. I'm going to put it right here. And I think that will do it for this plan with me. So all I need to do is write out my menu. We'll put a few things here and I'll write out the things I need to track. And that will do it for this week. So I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you liked this video, please press the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please press the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave them below and I will answer as soon as I can. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Jelly Beans Planner Nook. I thank you for joining me and I hope you'll come back and join me again and we'll sit down and we'll make some plans. Have a great day.